In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Flutter package Mobile Scanner. We can use this package to simply scan QR codes or barcodes. This is the simple app we're going to build today. This is not the simulator but rather a recording from my own device because we need to use our camera for this. This is the app bar we have and we have the button where we when we press on it we can enable the flashlight or disable it and this is to switch between the front camera and the back camera. So when we see a QR code like so then it will open up a new screen where it says scan code and then the text of the QR code or barcode. Let's get started. So as mentioned we're going to use the Flutter package mobile scanner. So just press on here to copy it to your clipboard. Then in your pubspec.yaml file under your dependencies just paste it in here and run pubget. For the setup there are a couple of things we still have to do. So first go to your Android folder and then open up the local.properties file and in here you have to write in a new line flutter.minSDK version equals to 21. Then still under Android app open up the build gradle file and in here under Android default config you have to comment this line or delete it however you want to do it and then write minSDK version local properties dot get property and then flutter dot min sdk version so that we can get the min sdk version from the local properties file we defined earlier. That's all what we need to do for Android setup. Now for the iOS setup go to your iOS folder and open in finder and then open up the runner.xc workspace file. Here you have to go to the runner and then under deployment info you have to change this from iOS 9 to iOS 11 since this only works from iOS 11.0 and up. Then one last thing to do for the iOS setup is still under iOS, under runner and then open up the info.plist file and then just write these two keys in here so the NS camera usage description so that we can use the camera to scan barcodes or QR codes and you can also use this library when you want to scan barcodes from in your photo library on your device. That's all we need to do for the setup. Now what I did was create a simple app. First of all of course then import the mobile scanner package. Then here is mentioned in our app bar we have two icon buttons. So the first one is for the flash. First define the mobile scanner controller. I called it camera controller and then just equals to a new object of mobile scanner controller and then we can use icon button give it a color an icon and here it just switches between the color of the icon and the icon itself so either when the flash is on or when the flash is off and when you press on it we use our camera controller and then just say toggle torch to either enable or disable the flashlight then for switching the camera between the front camera and the back camera here again we just change the different icons and then when we press on it we simply call camera controller dot switch camera. Then for the body of our app we use the mobile scanner widget. Here we define our controller and when the mobile scanner detects a barcode or a QR code we use this on detect variable with a custom function. It accepts a barcode. This barcode could either be a barcode or a QR code and then some mobile scanner arguments. Also you can say whether you want to allow duplicates. This means that if this is set to false then it will only scan one QR code once and if you want to scan it again the same one it won't scan it anymore. So if you want to scan the same one multiple times then you set this to true. Now this is very fast that's why I created another variable called screen opened because if you set this to true and we open up a new screen then it will open up 10 20 screens or so because this sees this so many times before it even has opened the first screen. That's why I had to create a flag a boolean called screen opened and if the screen opened is false then we open up the new screen. We set this of course then to true so whenever this barcode is scanned again and scanned again it won't go in here and it will only open up the new screen again when we set this to false and we set this to false by clicking on the back button in our new screen which I'm just going to show you in a bit. So next here if the screen is not opened yet first we can use this barcode and then the raw value. This is a nullable string so that's why I said if this is null then it should just assign dash 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 to our string code here. Then you can print it out or do whatever you want with it. In this case here I made a new screen called found code screen and I pass this code through and I also pass this function through screen was closed. This is whenever the back button is pressed on the new screen 
This will then set the screen open to false so that we can open up the new screen again. And here we have the found code screen. It's simply a stateful widget. As mentioned, it accepts the barcode value and the function screen closed. And in here we have an app bar. So we have the app bar here, the back button. So when the back button is pressed, we have an icon button here. We first call the function screen closed. So in order to access this function, we have to say widget.screenClosed to access this. And don't forget the parentheses here. If you forget them, this function will not be called. So don't forget these parentheses here. So when this is called, it will set the screen open to false and then it will close the screen so that later on screen open is false again. So this equals to true, the statement here, and we can open up a new screen again. Then for the rest of the body here, for the found code screen, all I did was putting a column in there where we have a text scan code, then a size box in between here, and then the text so the value behind our barcode or QR code, which we simply get from the widget.value. And as you remember, the value is simply a string. Since we assigned this here to the string here, the code, and then simply pass this through. I use the QR code generator. So this is the website here, qr-code-generator.com. And in here you can paste text, images, URLs, or whatever you want, and then just click on here to download the JPEG. It will say that you have to wait for a couple of seconds to generate the QR code, and then it will automatically download it for you. So in this case, what I did just was simply writing the URL of my YouTube channel, and this then simply generated me this QR code here to show you here in, in the app. So as you can see here, this is the QR code, and then when it scanned it, it will say that it found this string behind the QR code, which is of course correct. Also, one last thing to mention here is that I print out the barcode so that you can also see it without having to open up a new screen or something. You can, of course, do something completely different than me. I just wanted to show you how it works. So it just says here, barcode found, and then the value behind the barcode or the QR code. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comments. And thank you for watching.